And so once you've got all of these pieces in place and you've really done this well, the next thing is to start to think about how you're going to track, measure, and quantify. Because you can have the best online strategy in the world and still wind up spending much more than you're making or much more than you're profiting. So the three main things I want to suggest you put in place 2014 to make sure that you position yourself for positive return on investment, first is to put Google Analytics on your site. And pay attention to Google Analytics. It'll tell you how many people got to your website, what they typed in to get there, how long they stayed. The key thing you want to look at with analytics is, is the number of visitors to my website from relevant people in my area increasing. If you're doing all of these things right, right, if you're, if you're starting to rank for more keywords, if you're starting to you know, run a proactive pay-per-click strategy, if you're leveraging social media, the number of people getting to your website should be increasing. You want to make sure that you're tracking your online rankings. And so earlier in the presentation, I mapped out you know, the most important plumbing-related keywords. There are tools like brightlocal.com and Raven Tools and SEO Book that will run reports for you. And you can say, okay, my keywords are my city plumber, plumbing, emergency plumber, drain cleaning, plumber in my city, water heater repair, water heater installation. And it will tell you, based on that report, exactly where you rank on Google and Yahoo and Bing. So you can see on a monthly basis without having to run a bunch of manual searches exactly where you stand in the search engine results. That really gives you an indication. Are you moving up in your rankings? If you are, then what you're doing is good. If you're not ranking, something's missing. Maybe you don't have enough links. Maybe you don't have enough citations. Maybe you don't have enough reviews. But having that type of tracking really helps to gauge. The next thing I really recommend is call tracking. And I know this might sound counterintuitive because earlier I said, don't do call tracking in all your major online directories. I still stand by that because it's going to hurt your probability of ranking on the Google map. However, on your actual website, within the graphics on your website, in the header graphic, in the call to action graphics, you can use a tracking number, a number that rings to your office and you can have that recorded. That gives you the ability to gauge how many calls are coming in from what you're doing and start to isolate the true return on investment. The key, though, is only put it in your graphics. That way it doesn't mess with your name, address, and phone number profile and doesn't confuse Google as far as what your true name, address, phone number is. And then, of course, the third is to leverage a CRM so that you can track your lead sources, how many leads came in this month via the Internet, and then from there, all those leads, how many of them turned into book jobs, all those book jobs, how much revenue came in. When you can start to drill down at that level, and I think Service Titan is a fantastic tool for this, that's when you start to say, okay, wow, I spent X, but I got X times three in return. And so just one last case study, kind of playing out how all of this really works in the real world. Uh, one of the company that we work with is in Tampa, Florida, Philip Marisi Plumber, uh, Plumbing. He goes by the Clean Plumbers. You know, he'd been in business for about 30 years. He was heavily invested in the Yellow Pages and started to notice a decline in his revenues. And he was, you know, in the million dollar range and decided, man, I really better change something if I want to continue to grow my business. And so he decided the internet was important. Um, and he needed to get a website and he needed to get ranked in the search engines. So naturally, he had his son build a website for him. And his son did a great job. He built a, a very basic website with some basic information. Um, didn't really do any link building, didn't really do any citation development. And of course, was relatively frustrated. Went out, hired a couple so called SEO companies that said that they were going to do the work necessary to get him ranked. And months passed by basically no net result. Couldn't find himself when he typed Tampa Plumber, Tampa Plumbing, Plumber in Tampa. Um, and then we started working together and we implemented the strategies. And I don't want you to focus on the fact that we did it. I want you to focus on the fact that the strategy that I've just outlined works, right? We went in and we built out his website. So we had pages for each one of his services, pages for each one of his cities. We got aggressive with the link building. We implemented um, social media and email marketing and he started to rank. And you know, if we go and we type in Tampa Plumber, he's got a very strong ranking within you know in a relatively short period of time. 
But here's really what I want to, to show you, the net result of this. So we put call tracking on his website in the graphics in the right way so it didn't interfere with his name, address, and phone number. And in January, he had a handful of calls on the call tracking number. This is when we started together. And that was just based on people going to Google and typing in the clean plumbers and finding his website. And so he did have a couple calls that came in from that. But there really weren't people finding him based on your, your traditional plumber in Tampa, plumbing company in Tampa. As we got to March, which is about two months later, he started to rank better in search. And boom, he had 52 inbound calls via the tracking number on the website. You know, giving it more time, starting to rank better for more keywords, starting to become better optimized. By September of that year, he had 147 inbound calls. So that's a pretty significant increase from nothing or just a handful to 147 calls. And really what I want you to see is when you do this correctly and you really start to show up in search and you harness the power of the internet, there's a major opportunity for calls which generate revenues and generate growth within your business. And so this is just the call reporting system showing, um, you know, March 52 calls, September 147 calls. Now, even more important, that was just the SEO side of the equation. That was getting him ranked in the organic listings on the search engines. And that was great. You know, prior to working with Plumber SEO, we only got a few calls a month via the internet. In September of this year, we tracked 147 inbound calls directly via the internet. So then we said, let's take it to the next level. Let's start to implement some of these paid online marketing channels. Let's implement pay-per-click advertising. Let's get aggressive with Yelp and with Angie's List. And last month, November, he had 311 calls via the internet. And so that almost doubled what he was getting September of the prior year. And so this really takes you full circle. You know, you're going to get to a certain place where you're maximizing the internet, where you're, you know, you're optimizing the website and you're creating good content. And then as you start to layer on pay-per-click and other online marketing channels, you can really get a lot of opportunity and have major growth within your plumbing or HVAC business. Well, I hope you got a lot of value out of that training video. If you'd like to get even more details on how you really should be marketing your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd encourage you to go to plumberseo.net slash free. There you'll find a video training, completely free of charge, runs about an hour and 20 minutes. That goes into depth as far as what your overall internet marketing strategy should be if you want to maximize the potential of the internet search engines, Google Maps, social media, paper lead services, pay-per-click advertising within your plumbing or HVAC business. So just go to plumberseo.net slash free. You'll be able to access that video training as well as an implementation guide that spells out how to do this stuff on your own. So again, that's plumberseo.net slash free. I look forward to talking with you again soon.